Welcome to an overview of the Omniverse UE4 connector. The UE4 connector consists of two plugins, a USD and an MDL plugin. These allow export, import, and editing of USD meshes, skeletal meshes, stages, cameras, lights, and MDL materials. And that includes textures and materials and material instances. We're going to start by showing you this uh, taskbar icon, this Omniverse taskbar icon. You can toggle live edit of stages. You can look at uh, information about the plugin that can help you if you need help on the forums, get support, or look at documentation. First thing I'm going to go over is how you can add a new server. In the content browser, we have an, an Omniverse folder, and it's a special Omniverse folder. It's not for putting files. It's not for users to um, add or delete things. It is a, uh, it's a way to browse what is on a, a Nucleus server. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add one. We have OVATSTL. It's a server in our office. I'll add it and you'll see it just got added there. I'll click on it and when I click on it, it actually logs into it. And at that point I can browse it. I can import uh, stages or meshes or materials and use them in a uh, state in a USD stage in the editor. What we're going to do is we're going to take this stage, this scene that I've created in UE4, and we're going to export it to Omniverse as USD and MDL. And we're going to look at it in Omniverse Create. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find where this where this level lives in the browser. I right click on it and I say export to Omniverse. I could also do asset actions export and export it locally to our disk. But in this case, I'm going to use the server. There are lots of options here. These are covered in our documentation. I want to point out that we are using um, the, the texture setting as export resolution to cap some of these really large textures that exist in this scene. I'll pick a folder on my server. And export to that folder. Depending on the size of your stage, this may take a while. I sometimes like to tail the project log so I can see what's being exported as it goes, just so you can see there's progress. The export is complete, and we've got a few warnings from the MDL export, noting that certain properties of the UE4 materials are not available to MDL. In this case, for the sky mesh or for the sky materials, it won't make a significant difference. So we've exported it to Omniverse. Now we'll open this exported stage in Omniverse Create. I browse to my stage. I click on it to open it. The materials are created, texture stream in. I can view this in real-time RTX or path trace. And I didn't show you in UE4, but we actually have a level sequence that controls some camera, a camera and a material. All that comes through as USD time sample data. So if I select the camera that we're manipulating, in our level sequence. I can then play. And you can see the results of it. And it's just looping here. So now we've demonstrated UE4 can export. Now we're going to actually import this stage that we exported back into UE4. I'll go to my local host, go to my stage, and simply double click on the USD asset that appears. 
and we wait for the stage to load. This is doing a lot of things. This is pulling in all the meshes. It's pulling in all the textures. It's distilling materials. It's, it's actually doing a whole lot of conversion work. Again, we can look at the log to see all the meshes and materials that are being initialized and created, new shaders being made. All this is happening dynamically as it imports. Note that these files are all being cached in this local Omniverse folder. We typically only show you a proxy, the USD file, in the texture file and the MDL files, which I'll go through. Once everything imports, we have a full USD stage being represented here. We have the skeletal mesh, we have cameras, lights, static meshes, materials, and textures. We even have a level sequence actor. In this case, all of the all of the keys are linear because USD doesn't support bicubic time samples, but it will play through. You can see the camera movement. If I select it, see I can scrub, and all that information is preserved. We can click through our cameras. We can look at the output of the folders. So when UA4 exports, we do a props folder, which contains all of the meshes represented and in this case we have our static our skeletal mesh here and then the sky the ship and some rocks in the ground this overview is the stage which references all of those and then we have our NBL materials with our template materials and we have our textures that were created in this case you're seeing them as actual imported textures because they've been referenced by the import. It's the same thing with the MDLs. These MDLs were not directly referenced. These, these, uh, text, these materials that were imported are fully editable and you can change properties on them dynamically and, and edit them. That's a good overview of the UE4 connector, showing you export, import, and some editing. Thank you.